So this is the final part of our role base authentication and authorization in Spring Boot. So where are we now? I'm going to run this application and let's see. Because in the last class, I told you that we are going to now work on creating access a denied page, right? And we're also going to be doing update authorities collection. We are going to see how, what this is all about. So if I go to, let me take my keyboard. If I go to HTTP to our application, uh, I think this runs on port 8081. And if I log in, okay. So if I go to users and I go to manage roles, I can't actually get in because I've restricted access to this user at this page because we mentioned it in the last class. However, if I come here and remove the uh, from the security configuration, I remove this line. So let me just comment this line out and rerun this application now. Okay, so we are there. So let's create an access denied page now so that if access is denied, instead of seeing this error message, we are going to see a page that uh, actually displays a user-friendly message. So I'm going to come here and create a new page in the template folder. I'm going to say a uh, new HTML file. I'm going to call it access. I'll just call it access denied. And let's just call it access denied page here. Or let's just, yeah, access. And in the body, I'm going to use uh, center slash center to centralize. I'm going to say h1 uh, assize denied. Or I'll just say you are not authorized to edit user data. And I'm going to give opportunity to go back to the home page. So I'm going to say ahref is equal to slash index. And it's going to be go back home. Okay. So these are assets in my page. How do we tell Spring Security to display this page instead of an error message? So we are going to, I'm going back to my application and we're going down here. Ah, uh, yeah, I think this asset deny page is the last one. Okay. Okay, so we are going to add this line to the uh, application security config. So I'm going to come to somewhere here and say, uh, from here, I can just say dot and and dot as uh, exception handling the assets night page and it's going to be slash assets denied. Now, this assets denied now is a route, so we are going to create this route. So, I'm going to go to yeah, because it's a route. So this, what is specified here is actually a route, uh, in a, a URL route that has to be specified in a controller. So let me save everything first. And now I'm going to go to application controller and define the asset denied route. So I'm going to come here and say, uh, get mapping to Assets denied public string return assets denied. Okay, so when the user visits an assets denied page or an unauthorized page, it's going to serve up this access denied page. So let's go try it out. Let's go back to uh, to add the AND matcher to so require admin role to be able to edit. So I'm going to uncomment here and I'm going to run this application now. Okay, so at this point, if I try to manage roles, it says you are not authorized to edit data and go back home. So this is how to configure an assets denied page. You can actually clean this page up to look uh, better. Okay, what is left? Yeah, this is very important. Um, this is actually update the authorities collection. Now, our roles that we have in our database, uh, remember this roles does not have any connection with Spring Security. So we, want, we now want to tell Spring Security to use these roles that we have in our database table roles 
as granted authorities. So remember we returned simple granted authority in user principle. So if I go to, if you can remember, if I go to when we did Spring Security, remember this class here, and we have this user principle that extends user details, returns a whole lot of things, get password, account, uh, locked out, and so on. And under here, where it says uh, get authorities, it returns uh, only one single authority, which is user. So you, you create a simple granted authority, which is basically a role by providing a string, which is actually the role. In this case, we have coded one single user uh, role, which is user, and provided it as a granted authority. But now instead of hard coding it, we are going to uh, collect all the roles in our database and create a collection of authorities and then return them. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to comment this one out. And I'm going to now create a list of granted authority. Granted authority is simply more or less like a role of authorities. Let's call it authorities equal to new array list. Again, you can actually copy, copy and paste if you want, but I normally recommend writing the code yourself. So I'm going to say, I uh, use a for loop to get all the uh, roles and use them to create authorities and then return the list of authorities. So, and um, it requires that I actually need to, um, just give me one second. Okay, yeah, perfect. So I'm going to say for, for role, role in user.getRoles. So we are going to iterate over the particular user's role. It's going to be this, okay. And we are going to create authorities by saying authorities dot add and, and create new simple granted authority with the role, which is the description of the role. It's going to be get description. Okay. So in our model, description of the, the description of the role is like the name of the role. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just return the authorities. Yes, so if you do this now, uh, why? No, no, I don't have to return it in here, I have to return it outside. Okay, so if we do this, we now have the authorities, all the roles returned uh, for that user once he wants to assess him a, a resource. So once the user wants to assess a resource, we are going to check his roles, and of course, for Spring Security, it has to be authorities and check if he has a particular authority or role needed to assess this uh, resource. So this is basically all about um, uh, role-based authentication and authorization in Spring Boot. Actually, there are other things we can talk about. For instance, how do we create this list of items uh, displayed on a home page so that a user can actually see his list of roles or his list of authorities displayed against his name or maybe have a drop down to show uh, after even you are logging and you want to select a role for you to log in. So maybe we can I can try to figure out how to make a class on, in that on, about that one for now later on. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'd like to thank you for being there. If you have challenges, uh, feel, uh, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what support you need. And also remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed to my channel. So I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.